Alrighty houses, welcome back. And in this video, I want to talk to you about structs. Now, what the heck is a struct in Python? Well, a struct is a way that you can actually take any type of data in Python, whether it's numbers, letters, strings, whatever, and you can convert it to bytes format. So first question is, why would we ever want to do this? I mean, it might be interesting to know how your computer stores memory or how it transfers data over the network, but we really don't care about those ones and zeros most of the time. So why are we learning this? Well, I'm actually going to be making a new tutorial series about um, some network applications in Python. And whenever you work with network applications, you actually need to read the bytes value. So you're on a network and you see all these ones and zeros coming across and you need to actually interpret it because humans can't read ones and zeros. So we need to figure out a way to take all of that data, that raw data, and turn it into something that's readable for humans. So that's why I'm gonna be showing you how to use structs basically to turn ones and zeros into something that humans can read. So the first thing that you need to do is go from struct import all. And I'll show you guys how to pack and unpack and what all that means. So the first thing I'm going to do is just, we're going to have some data and I'll just have like three numbers, like six, uh, whatever, 19 and some uh, float. And we'll store it as bytes. So store as bytes data. And someone is texting me. Actually, that's mail. And it was an update for my Facebook page. All right. So... How do we take data and actually convert it to bytes? Why would we want to do this? Well, say we're preparing to send some data across the network. Well, let's go ahead and make a variable and I'll just name it pack data. And what you need to do is you need to call a function called pack. Now, as you can see before I hit enter, this is gonna take two parameters. The first one is the format and the second one is gonna be a list of values. And it can either be just one value like a number or a letter or it can be you know, a list like, uh, you know, 10 different numbers. So remember, format and values. All right. So if you go to the Python documentation, they'll say that what you store, and they'll give you the, um, the letter for what it is, but say that we wanted to store two integers and a float, some decimal point. Well, the key um, letter for integers is I. So if we wanted to store two of them, just type I twice, and then I'm also going to store a decimal point or a float. So I'm just going to write that. Now, if I just wanted to store five integers, then I'll just write I five times. But let's go ahead and store two integers in a float. So now with a comma separated this, we just need to give it two integers in a float. So I'll say like six, uh, 19, and a float like 4.73, whatever. And of course, if you're using like strings or characters or anything like that, then this is gonna be different. But basically, whenever you have data, such as this, and you wanna convert it to a byte format, just write what type of data you're storing and then the data itself, simple enough. Now, if you actually just wanna see this right now, we can print it out. And remember, whenever I print this out, it's gonna print it out in byte format. So this B right here, it signifies bytes and now you see all of that stuff. So slash X06 slash X00, all of that crap. So again, whenever you transfer data over the network, that's what's actually being sent. So that's why when a lot of people try to build like password sniffers and they start seeing all that, they're like, what the heck? So now we know what's going on behind the scenes. Now I wanna show you guys some other cool things before I show you guys how to take that byte data and actually convert it back into human readable form. So this is gonna come in handy later whenever we're learning about why we need to get a certain amount of bytes. So check this out. This calc size, this is a built-in function that just tells you how many bytes are needed to store some value. So let me just type I right there. And let me just type something like uh, F and IIF. IIF. All right, so check this out. So we're printing out the byte data. We already saw that before. And now I'm gonna print out the size needed to store an integer, a float, and our data, which was two integers and a float. All right, so it says four, four, 12. 
So whenever you're sending data across the network and you're sending an integer, it takes up four bytes. That's how much space or memory it takes up. Same thing with a the float, they're the same size, four bytes each. And whenever we try to calculate the size needed to store two integers in a float, it was 12. And that makes sense, four plus four plus four equals 12. So later on, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna say get the first 12 bytes of this packet or something. And now you guys are like, oh, so that's why, because you know that's how much space it takes up. So easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl already. Now we need to figure out how to get this data, all this byte data, and convert it back into human readable form. Well, if pack was the function to make it byte data, unpack is the function to get it back to normal. So I'll say to get, uh, I don't know, data back to normal. Say to get byte data. All right, so I'll just name it original data. And what we need to do is we need to unpack it. Now, whenever you unpack it, you also need to give it the format. So it's gonna be looking at a bunch of bytes, which is actually this thing. And it's gonna say, okay, um, what do you want me to do? Like, are there integers in here? Are there characters? Are there strings? Are there floats? How do you want me to unpack it? And we said that there's actually two integers and a float in here. Now as a second parameter, you just give it that pack data right like that. And this is all your bytes data. So now whenever we run this, and we need to actually print it out, then check it out. All right, so all of this was from before, and now we unpacked it and we got six, 19, and our float, which is 4.73, and some numbers on the end because computers are awesome at storing uh, decimal points, but we got a little um, extra values right there. So there you go. So another thing that I actually wanna show you guys is this. If I just copy all of this byte data right here, remember this is basically 619 and 4.73 stored as bytes. You can actually just do this. Print, unpack, IIF, and put all your byte data right there. So this may be a little bit easier to visually see whenever you first start learning about this. So let me go ahead and run this and we get the same um, results right there because of course this variable is equal to this right there. But basically whenever you have to work with bytes or you need to have byte data and transfer it back into human readable form, then you can use pack and unpack from struct. So pretty easy stuff. There you go. I'll see you guys next time.